This photo illustrates the front of the engine compartment on the left side. Remove the coolant reservoir cap and use a suction gun or fluid pump to remove as much coolant as you can from it. Use a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the center plastic rivet screw, then remove the plastic rivet with the screw as indicated by the green arrow. Using a small flathead screwdriver, lever up on the metal retaining clip for the bleed line hose. Twist the bleeder hose, green arrow, slightly to break loose the seals and pull it out of the coolant reservoir. Pull up on the coolant reservoir until you have unseated the two tabs, green arrows, from the rubber mounting grommets, yellow arrows. One rubber grommet on the right side of this photo is missing. I will have to replace this item before reassembling the coolant reservoir. Rotate the coolant reservoir slightly to expose the coolant level sensor on the underside of it. Squeeze the locking tab, green arrow, on the bottom of the connector and unplug the electrical connector by pulling it in the direction of the blue arrow. Use a pair of pliers and squeeze the spring clamp on the hose and move the clamp down the hose. Here we are using needle nose vice grip pliers to hold the spring clamp. Using slip joint pliers, grab the hose and twist it first to break the seal between the hose and the coolant reservoir. When removing the hose, keep it elevated as high as possible to prevent any coolant from spilling out. This will reduce the amount of bleeding of the cooling system upon reassembly. Remove the hose from the coolant reservoir. Have a drain pan underneath the work area since some coolant may still be left in the bottle. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Fit the hose on the coolant reservoir. Position and release the spring clamp where the hose fits into the coolant reservoir. Plug in the coolant reservoir level sensor electrical connector. Position the two tabs on the coolant reservoir and fit them into the two grommets in the body of the car. Insert the plastic rivet to mount the back of the coolant reservoir to the body. Fill the system and bleed it according to our article on draining, filling, and bleeding the cooling system. You will find a link to that at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.